Given Mark's response to me, I suggested that David should, as a courtesy, return Mark's call, which he did at 12.03 p.m. on Monday. On the call, Mark reiterated what he said in the voicemail on Saturday night. He ended those statements by saying, I am not wrong. He followed that up by saying the follow to Dave, the following to David. And David, this is as David remembers it. Number one, there is something wrong at James River Church. Number two, the leadership with you, your dad, and your brother is enmeshment. Enmeshment to Mark means that's a group of people, any group that is against Mark or that Mark doesn't agree with. Number three, there's something evil at work in the church. Something is different since the last time I came. There is a mixture of the sinful and the sacred. Number four, the reason that God is still blessing is because of the foundation of grace laid by years of Bible teaching. Number five, and I'm numbering him because these are statements David remembered. David, you need to differentiate. What Mark means by that is you need to separate yourself. And if you don't, James River Church may cease to exist. Number six, this is a word from the Lord for you. This may be the most important moment of your life. Number seven, Brandon is a broken man. The fact he could watch that guy in rehearsal and says, say nothing, says something is wrong. Something is wrong with him. He went on to accuse Brandon of a list of dark sins. But you need, number eight, to differentiate and become the leader of James River Church. This is your fulcrum moment. What kind of person says those things?